What's going on everybody? It's me, Zolorzani, here bringing you a new review for Team Eclipse, and this one is Pokemon Snap. Now this one's going to be a lot different than when I did Pokemon Dash, because in Pokemon Dash, there was a script, and there was a ton of editing. For this one, not going to be the same. There's no script, so if I stutter or anything like that, I do apologize. And there's not going to be a ton of editing. So while I'm talking, I'm just going to be showing some gameplay footage I was able to get. Um, thank you who got it for me. Um, so yeah, let's start with the review. I just want to first start off with the things I really liked about Pokemon Snap. And the first thing is I'm really shocked that the game is good. Um, let I'm just going to get that out of the way. The game is really good. And I'm really surprised by that because... Um, it's a game where all you do is sit around and take pictures of Pokemon and no one in their right mind would think that was that would be a good idea but luckily Nintendo thought it would be and they made it and it's a freaking awesome game the graphics look nice for the N64 time it looks really good with like the 3d models of the Pokemon I believe it came out after Stadium so it wasn't the first time we were able to see these 3D models of Pokemon, but it still looks very nice. Um, they're not limited to like one area. They're able to move around a lot more and have more animation. So it looks a lot better than they looked in Pokemon Stadium. Um, and the settings are really nice too. I believe there are maybe seven, maybe I think eight, seven regular. And then the eighth one is where you fight, not fight, but take a picture of Mew. Um, I believe there is the normal beach area, then there is a uh, work, a mine place, I believe it's called, a volcano, and a river, and um, some other places, but those four I mentioned right now, those are the footages you're going to see. I got the first four levels of the game, and I believe there are maybe three more, and then where you catch Mew. So, yeah, so the main concept of the game is your... A brand new Pokemon photographer who wants to get out there and k take pictures of Pokemon and have a great time. That's cool. And you get to pick your name. Um, that's, a, that's a nice touch, you know, normal Pokemon fashion. And once you do that, you meet Professor Oak. And Professor Oak asks, asks, you, asks you to take these pictures of these Pokemon and give them to him. And he will judge you on them. So at the end of every level, every mission, uh, quote-unquote mission... Uh, you, and you take these pictures, you show them to Professor Oak, and he judges them on pose, um, if they're centered, and if there are any additional Pokemon in the picture. And if you can see their face. If it's a picture of a Pokemon and you can only see their back, um, they're not centered, um, and it's not a good pose either, he doesn't like the pose, he will not give you a good score. Um, this adds a lot of good replay because then it makes you want to go back into these um, levels and try to get the best picture possible of each Pokemon. And it's possible to get, like, let's say three Pikachus in one photo. And if you pick that photo and one of the Pikachus is centered nicely, all three of them are posed perfectly, he will give you bonus points because there's more than just the one Pikachu. Um, I, once again, I really like this because um, it gives you incentive to go and try to catch catch I'm sorry um, take pictures of all these Pokemon but it has this thing where um, you could catch I keep saying catch where you can try and uh, take pictures of all these rare Pokemon like Articuno Zapdos Moltres and even Mew the final boss um, if y the pose is just a little off and he's just slightly off frame he will not give you the best score ever and it just it's really confusing because uh you caught you took a picture of this incredibly rare pokemon yet he's gonna judge you in like this very harsh and very unfair way because professor rogue this is a me we're talking about why would you care about the goddamn pose <laughs> it's it's very weird um but once again it makes you want to go back and get a better picture so i understand why they did that and it makes a lot of sense at the same time, though, Oak needs to not be such a bitch about it. Um, also, the idea that um, as the game goes on, you get other um, quote-unquote items. I was going to say weapons, but they're not really weapons. You can get like an apple, a fishing pole, a smoke ball, all those different types of things. And by using them correctly, you can get different Pokemon. Like, in the river level, there is a Bulbasaur, and the only way to get Bulbasaur out from hiding and get a good picture of him is to throw a smoke ball out him, 
at, throw a smoke ball at him and get him out of his hiding spot and then take a good picture of Bulbasaur. Like, once again, because of the whole judging thing, um, it makes you want to go back and find all these different Pokemon that you weren't able to find before. Like, in the first level, like the beach, there is a hidden, I believe, not Clefairy, it's a Clefable, not Clefable, it's a Chansey, I believe. Um, Chansey's rolling around, if you throw an apple at it, he'll stop rolling and just stand there and you can take a good picture of it and then it could count to your Chansey collection of pictures of Chansey. So, I really like that idea too. It also abuses the Pokemon a little bit, but hey, uh, we're not going to talk about that right now. But once again, I just really like that idea of the whole um, getting different items and using them in ways to unlock more levels. Like, the only way you can get to the Volcano level is if you throw, like, towards the end of the level of the mine, there is an Electrode. If you throw, a po not a Pokeball, an Apple at it, um, it will self-destruct and unlock the path to the Volcano level. Um, this is good and bad. A, it, it's good because um, it lets you um, unlock different levels. It's bad that it's necessary. I wish they kept it um, uh, not necessary. Like, if you want the secret volcano level, then do that. But if you want to play the game normally and not do that, then that's also fine. But they made it where you had to hit the electrode. And in the river level, you have to use the smoke ball to unlock the next level after that. And I, I don't like that. They made some of that necessary. I wish they kept it um, optional, like a side quest type of thing, like a like a bonus level, you know. And speaking of um, bonuses, another thing I wasn't, I was all I was a big fan of, not a big fan of. The I really like the idea of having like hidden Pokemon hidden throughout the um, environments. Like in the beach level, if you look at these rocks in a certain way, it makes a Kingler, and if you take a picture of that, um, Professor Oak will keep it. And in each level, there are these hidden Pokemons that you can only see if you look at the environment in these different ways and these um, different angles. I really like that idea a lot. And if you get all of them in each level, you unlock the final level with Mew. And then you can take a picture of Mew. What I don't like is that that is necessary to, to, to quote-unquote fight Mew. Now, like I said, it's a cool idea and all. But I don't like that they made it necessary. Um, I would have really liked it if it was one of those things where if you are if you happen to notice it and you take a picture of it, it unlocks a secret level. And like there's all these different rare Pokemon that you couldn't find before. But the fact that it's necessary to do this to fight Mew at the end, I'm not the biggest fan of. But that was my call and the idea that it was necessary isn't that bad of an idea i will be honest I, it was pretty cool i just really liked it if they did it that different way like i mentioned um but really in the end that's really it for pokemon snap um i can't really men talk about anything else i guess the music is pretty bland i'm not the biggest fan of the music and uh, that's gonna hurt the score just a little bit because i'm huge on music i'm a huge music guy i love listening to music and I'm taking a piano class at school so I like doing music too <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm a music guy I like judging music from time to time so that's gonna hurt the grade just a bit for this game but overall um, the visuals look nice the gameplay is fun surprisingly um, the models look great um, having just the idea in general is just really good and Pokemon snap is a great game I love it it's one of those um, spin-off games where you don't expect it to be good, but it ends up being very good. So, in the end, I'm going to have to give Pokemon Snap an 8 out of 10. I recommend this game fully. Thank you.